Hello everyone and welcome to Concur Learning. My name is Lakshmi Kushwaha and today we are going to start very important topic human resource development for assistant labor commissioner exam. There has been few questions which has been asked from this particular topic. So it becomes very important from exam point of view. So we would be covering it into various parts since it is a very lengthy topic. So we would be covering them into different parts. Today we would be moving to part one, which would be an introduction about what is human resource development, what are the approaches and so on. Fine. So let's start. Now, before we move to the theoretical thing about human resource development, Let's understand what do you mean by human resource development. The HRD, human resource development, the name itself suggests the development of the human resources. The human resources are the people or the employees with are, which are working in the organization. An organization which when things about development, training and growth of the employees or the human resource in the organization, considering their future potential or the future growth of the organization. So, jab hum current potential as well as future growth ko dekh kar employees ko ya human resource resources ko training and development provide karte hai, unko steady karte hai, unki growth mein help karte hai, that is called as human resource development. In today's scenario, every organization focuses on human resource development, either it is into the public sector or private sector. So the term human resource development was the first time applied in 1968 in George Washington University and it was used in Miami at the Conference of American Society for Training and Development in 1969. So this type of questions are very important or this type of uh, terms are very important because they are they, these are usually asked in exam that for the first time when was human resource development used and so on where it was used. So as I explained to you what is human resource development it is the part of human resource management. So please remember human resource management is the broader concept which consists of the human resource development. So human resource development is the part of human resource management which specifically deals with the training and development of the employees. So it talks about developing the human resources for the future as well as understanding their present potential. The HRD helps the employee employees in developing their in knowledge skills and abilities to achieve self-fulfillment in aid of accomplishment of organizational goals now why this human resource development is being came into being uh, brought up into the picture or why this human resource development is given so much importance now let's say there is an employee called a he is having the knowledge of certain technology called t over the period of the time, the organization has got certain goals. Now, if this employee is having the potential, he knows the technology T and if he has got the potential to learn the things, he has more potential to perform, give the productivity. So, employer or the organization would be investing on him. They would be training him because he has, the, he has that potential. So, when the organization works on developing knowledge, skills and abilities of the employee in order to achieve self-fulfillment, his own fulfillment. So when I get trained, I become more acquainted. When I, be I am given a training for something, I become self-reliant, more autonomy is given to me because when I know certain process, if I know, suppose this is certain machine, I know how to operate this machine, I can do it by myself. I don't have to rely on someone to come and start this machine. So when I am trained to start this machine, I become autonomy. More of autonomy is given to me. I have more skills. I become more self-fulfilled. Self, -fulfilled, self uh, you can say self, uh, a kind of self-appreciation develops in me. And ultimately, this individual goals of mine are also used to accomplish the organizational goals. So now, 
it is concerned human resource development is concerned with development and implementation of people strategies which are integrated with corporate strategies and ensure that culture values and structure of organization equality motivation and commitment of its member contribute fully to the achievements of goals now human resource development is not a concept rather it is a system rather it focus on developing a culture or the values so when i say a organization is a learning organization or when i say the organization focus on human resource development so when i say human resource development means what the organization is always ready to provide training and development to the employees for that it need to create such values it need to create such culture in the organization the organizational culture should be learning then means it should be ready to appreciate the initiation from the employees as well it should be ready to motivate the employees it should be ready to you can say satisfy the employees need individual needs as well because if the employee is satisfied he is more committed to the organization he learns more thing right so it is ensuring it is very important to ensure the culture values and structure of organization in such a way that there is a quality motivation and commitment of its member contribute fully to the achievements of its goals so now if i have to summarize agar mujhe samajhna hai ki human resource development kya hai human resource development is nothing but a process or it is a part of human resource management which focuses on training and development of the human resources for the present as well as the future uh, needs of the organization or achieving the goals of the organization for that a culture has to be developed values has to be created motivation quality commitment has to be created within the organization next very important definition most of the time the definitions are asked in the exam so you need to know leonard nadler was the one who first introduced the concept of human resource development in 1969 in the conference in us we just now studied he defined human resource development as those learning experiences which are organized for a specific time and designed to bring about possibility of the behavioral change when i say behavioral change c when there is a requirement of change when organization is introducing new technology i am working suppose let take it as an example of atm machine when the atm machines were introduced before the atm machine came into the existence the people used to visit the bank and from the bank they used to fill the form and withdraw the amount even the smaller amount need to be withdrawn manually but since the atm came into the existence now people directly go to the atm and they start or they uh, withdraw their money now imagine the employees of the organization or the bank suppose this instead of this atm machine let's understand there was earlier paperwork the banks used to work on papers now there has been computers now everything is computerized everything is linked so human resource development says that providing or maintaining such continuous development in the organization for certain specific period of the time that brings about behavioral change behavioral change means the people those who are working on the papers now they have left their behavior of working on the papers and now have accepted the computerized work so specific time and it is designed to bring about behavioral change which is the definition given by leonard landler another important definition is asked in exam is given by tv rao 1996 so now he has defined hrd process it is a process he has defined human resource development as a process a continuous process which is a planned way he said that it is a continuous process which is taken in a plan means there is a proper plan you do not all of sudden you do not do anything you plan something and you do something right so hrd is the process in which employees of the organization are continuously helped in a planned way three things are important according to tv rao acquire or sharpen their capabilities required to perform various obligation task and function why training is provided 
so that you can sharpen yourself sharpen your skills increase your capabilities so acquire and sharpen their capabilities to perform the work in more better, better way develop their capabilities at individual so that they may be able to discover their potentialities and exploit them to full of their own or organizational development purpose <coughs> sorry so when as an individual when i acquire certain skills when i learn something i understand my potential that yes i have if i have learned this machine i have learned this uh, operating this machine it means i have more capabilities i can learn other machines as well so you understand your capabilities you understand your potentialities and you start developing or you start exploiting them right if you if you clear your assistant labor commissioner exam you understand that you have the potential to crack the exams so you would have the confidence to go with n number of the exams so ultimately you have understood your potentialities to develop an organizational culture where superior and subordinate relationship teamwork and collaboration among different subunits are strong and contribute to the organizational wealth dynamism and pride of employees so human resource development doesn't work or it won't be successful until there is an organizational culture which focuses on superior subordinate relationship a good relationship learning relationship teamwork is there collaboration is there collaboratively they are working so employee if it is he is learning something from the employer or the trainer there should be collaborative employee should be ready to learn and employer should be ready to give the knowledge or the trainer should be get ready superior should be get ready to give the knowledge right so if this collaborative relationship is there then only the human resource development can take place now let's move to the basic concept of the human resource development it is mainly concerned with developing skills knowledge and competencies of the people and it is people oriented concept please remember this term if it is asked people it is people oriented future oriented organization oriented so answer has to be people oriented why people oriented because it focuses on training the people human resource development can be both at national level and organizational level so it can happen at any level the concept of hrd was formally introduced by leonard nadler which we have done just now now enabling factors of human resource development organization structure organization climate hrd climate hrd knowledge and skills of manager human resources planning recruitment and selection these all are enabling factor enabling factors means that help to develop the human resource development first your structure should be in such a way so your organizational structure what is structure like your vp who is vp who is junior senior and so on that is the structure so when your organizational structure when it is favoring the development when it is in such a way that it creates an environment for the growth so organizational structure should be there a climate environment should be created there should be facilities climate should be there hrd climate human resource development climate is a specific topic which we would be learning in coming slides hrd knowledge and skills of managers manager should have good skills human resource planning should be in such a way that it focuses on development of the human resource recruitment and selection should be in such a way that it develops the human resource development so all these are planning recruitment are also called as hrd mechanism which we would be studying in coming classes now what are the objectives of hrd why the human resource development is formulated first equity what is equity irrespective of whether you are a male female whether you belong to any of the caste whether you are belonging from any of the religion or any language irrespective of that recognizing the employees employees potential and giving them equal opportunities to grow so human resource developments justify the equity the terminology of equity so recognizing every employee at par irrespective of caste creed religion and language can create a very good environment in the organization hrd must ensure that organization creates a culture and provides equal opportunity of 
to all employees in matter of career planning, promotion, quality or work life training and development. So first objective is to create a feeling of equity. Everyone is treated equally. Everyone is given equal opportunities. Employability to make employees employable. So when I say certain employee called A is employable and B is not employable. Employable means what? A person is having those skills, those abilities, those capabilities and hence you can employ him. B, he don't have those. Uske paas wo skills nahi hai. Isliye wo unemployable. So increasing the employability of the individual. So increasing the abilities, skills and competencies of the individual to seek gainful employment anywhere. Abhi jo training and development wo lega. वो अभी के लिए नहीं तो उसके फ्यूचर के लिए भी आगे आने वाली अपॉर्चुनिटीज के लिए भी हेल्पफुल है सो एच आर डी शुड एम एट इम्प्रूविंग द स्किल्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयज इन ऑर्डर टू मोटिवेट देम टू वर्क विद द इफेक्टिवनेस अडेप्टेबिलिटी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट इज very important for adapting to certain environment certain technology certain change right now if i say if i have introduced a new technology so this new technology this new change would be acceptable by the employees only if they are aware of this if they are aware of the importance of this technology they know they know how to work with this technology for that what is importance training and development human resource development is important so continuous training and ultimately they get adapted to the changed environment continuous training that develops the professional skills of employees plays an important role in hrd this can help the employees to adapt themselves to the organizational change that takes place on continuous basis so change jo hai organization mein continuously chalta rehta hai aur is change ko acceptable banane ke liye employees adaptable ho is change ke liye unko continuous training deni zaruri hai now important features of the human resource development systematic approach what is systematic means it is a plan all of sudden you do not say that a training is to be given it is a plan right hrd is a systematic and planned approach through which an efficiency of the employees is improved the future goals and objectives are set by entire organization which are well planned at individuals and the organizational level so ye pehle se plan kiya jata hai ki mujhe agar human resource development ek process follow karna hai jahan pe skills knowledge aur capabilities increase karni hai employees ki uske liye matlab kis tarike ka to main agar if i am an online education platform my knowledge my skills my trainings learning would be according to that and if i am समथिंग विच वी कॉल इट एज अ सेल मार्केटिंग में है सेल्स में है तो मेरी स्किल्स मेरी ट्रेनिंग अकॉर्डिंगली वैसे होंगे सो इट इज सिस्टमैटिक प्लान वॉट आर योर गोल्स एंड हाउ यू प्लान एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल एंड एट ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल लेवल इट इज अ कंटिन्यूस प्रोसेस सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट हैज टू बी डन कंटिन्यूसली एक ही दिन में सारी चीजें नहीं होती हैं so it has to be a continuous today the things are different tomorrow the things may be different so hrd is a continuous process for the development of all types of skills of employees such as technical managerial behavioral and conceptual till the retirement of an employee sharpening of all those skills is required every moment we say like we we need to be into learning phase learning phase mein hona chahiye because every day the things are changing no one knew that covid would come so as as covid came एवरी वन हैज टू चेंज सभी का सिस्टम बदल गया ऑफिस से काम करते थे ऑफलाइन ऑफलाइन काम करते नाउ एवरी वन इज वर्किंग ऑनलाइन वर्क फ्रॉम होम सो सिस्टम हैज चेंज नाउ अगेन वेन दी थिंग्स नॉर्मलाइज अगेन दे हैव टू गो बैक सो चेंजेस कीप्स ऑन हैपनिंग एंड अकॉर्डिंगली द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट हैज टू हैपन मल्टी डिसिप्लिनरी सब्जेक्ट इट इन्वॉल्व एवरी थिंग साइंस इंजीनियरिंग कॉमर्स मैनेजमेंट इकोनॉमिक मेडिसिन It is not relevant to only one subject. कि हाँ management या behavior study कर लिया या फिर management कर लिया. No, it you have to understand everything. So it is a multidisciplinary subject which draws input from behavioral science, engineering, commerce, management. All pervasive. All pervasive means applicable at all levels. Whether it is at the lower level of employee or higher management level, it is available or it is applicable at all level. HRD is an essential subject everywhere. be it and manufacturing organization or service sector industry techniques now it is there are number of the hrd interventions 
नंबर ऑफ द टेक्निक्स विच हेल्प इन डेवलपिंग ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट और द कल्चर विच कैन बी कॉल्ड एज योर परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल ट्रेनिंग मैनेजमेंट डेवलपमेंट करियर प्लानिंग काउंसलिंग वर्कर्स पार्टिसिपेशन क्वालिटी सर्कल्स दिज ऑल आर द टेक्निक्स ऑफ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट दिज ऑल कैन बी यूज फॉर डेवलपिंग ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज हाउ वी विल बी स्टडिंग इन डिटेल इन आर कमिंग सेशंस फंक्शंस एम्प्लॉय ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट करियर प्लानिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट सक्सेशन प्लानिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्मिनोलॉजी इज सक्सेशन प्लानिंग वी विल बी स्टडिंग इन कमिंग स्लाइड परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल एम्प्लॉयज पार्टिसिपेशन क्वालिटी सर्कल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चेंज एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल डेवलपमेंट ऑल दीज आर फंक्शन ऑफ द ऑर्गन हेल्थ ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट सबकी ट्रेनिंग सबका करियर प्लानिंग सारे ये फंक्शन ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट के थ्रू होते हैं नाउ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म इज देयर कॉल्ड एज एच आर डी मैट्रिक्स एट एच आर डी मैट्रिक्स इज नथिंग बट अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द फोर एलिमेंट्स एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स एच आर डी प्रोसेस एच आर डी आउटकम्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल इफेक्टिवनेस सो एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इज नथिंग बट द टेक्निक्स और द इंटरवेंशन लाइक योर परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट सक्सेशन प्लानिंग करियर प्लानिंग एंड सोन जो भी इंस्ट्रूमेंट हम यूज करते हैं ह्यूमन रिसोर्स डेवलपमेंट के लिए वो है एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट अल्टीमेटली दिस एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट लीड्स टू दी एच आर डी प्रोसेस एक प्रोसेस क्रिएट हो जाता है प्रोसेस बनाते हैं एंड दिस प्रोसेस लीड टू सर्टन आउटकम्स एंड एच आर डी आउटकम्स विल लीड टू दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल इफेक्टिवनेस सो नाउ हु गेव दिस टर्म वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड एच आर डी मैट्रिक्स आइडेंटिफाइज द इंटर रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट प्रोसेस आउटकम एंड इफेक्टिवनेस गिवेन बाई टी वी राव सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट गिवेन बाई टी वी राव वॉट आर द इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज आई सेड यू दिस इंक्लूड परफॉर्मेंस अप्रेजल काउंसिलिंग रोल एनालिसिस potential development training these all are instrument these all are the ways through which human resource development take place this instrument may vary from depending on size of organization the internal environment the support and commitment of top management and competitive policies so again what is my organization if i am learning organization if i am online education my instrument would be different if i am the sales organization my instrument would be different now the process एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट लीड टू दी प्रोसेस ऑफ जनरेशन एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट लीड टू दी जनरेशन ऑफ एच आर डी प्रोसेस लाइक रोल क्लैरिटी परफॉर्मेंस प्लानिंग डेवलपमेंट क्लाइमेट रिस्क टेकिंग डायनेमिज्म इन एम्प्लॉय ये जब हम इंस्ट्रूमेंट यूज करते हैं जब हम अब एनालिसिस की बात करते हैं जब हम अप्रेजल की बात करते हैं तो देर शुड बी अ प्रोसेस ऑल्सो सो दीज आर दी प्रोसेस the hrd process should result in more competent satisfied and committed people that would make the organization grow by contributing the best to it so this process should be in such a way that employees are more satisfied hum jo bhi process kar rahe hum jo bhi training and development method use kar rahe hain wo aisa process is way mein use hona chahiye ki employees get more satisfied hrd outcome ab ye jo instruments and process hai वॉट एवर इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई एम यूजिंग आई एम यूजिंग ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट और जो भी प्रोसेस उसके लिए यूज करूंगी मैं प्लानिंग या फिर यू कैन से ट्रेनिंग इवेल्युएशन एंड सो ऑन वॉट विल दे गिव दे वुड गिव एच आर आउट एच आर डी आउटकम आउटकम्स किस फॉर्म में होंगे मैंने किसी को ट्रेनिंग एंड डेवलपमेंट प्रोवाइड करी तो आउटकम क्या होगा हायर लेवल ऑफ स्किल्स मोर सेटिस्फाइड मोर कमिटेड सो दिस एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट एंड प्रोसेस मेक पीपल मोर कमिटेड and satisfied where they tend to give the best to the organization and the dynamic people is likely to do better than which does not believed in hrd concept and committed people who by their contribution so they would dynamic means a person who is always changing a person who is always learning they can give give you better outcomes such hrd outcome influence organizational effectiveness in long run so how organizational effectiveness a trained employee is more satisfied more satisfied ka matlab more committed more committed ka matlab wo organization mein se turn over remove karega wo zyada time tak organization se involved rahega apna best dega as a result organization effective kaise hogi depends on number of variables like environment technology and competitor jo jo employee trained hai developed hai 
वो चेंजेस को इजीली अडेप्ट करेगा कॉम्पिटेटिव होगा एनवायरमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कॉम्पिटेटिवनेस क्रिएट करेगा बिकॉज ही कैन लर्न एनीथिंग सो द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल इफेक्टिवनेस इंक्लूड द लॉन्ग टर्म ग्रोथ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एच आर एच आर डी मैट्रिक्स इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ वेयर एच आर डी इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर यूज टू प्रिपेयर द एच आर डी प्रोसेस विच गिव यू एच आर डी आउटकम्स एंड फाइनली गिवस द ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल इफेक्टिवनेस नेक्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म इज योर एच आर डी स्कोर कार्ड बट वी विल बी स्टडिंग दिस इन आर नेक्स्ट सेशन वी विल बी कीविंग दी वीडियो शॉर्ट सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग्स सो आई विल बी एंडिंग दिस सेशन हियर इन नेक्स्ट सेशन आई वुड बी कंटिन्यूंग दिस एच आर डी स्कोर कार्ड थैंक यू